Hey, what's up everyone? Today we are looking at the 52 Toys Final Fight action figures. I talked about these before when I reviewed their Captain Commando figure, which I really did like. I thought that figure was pretty impressive with the amount of articulation it had. So I'm looking forward to these right here. Uh, here's how the packaging is. This is actually the side right here, but the side kind of just, you know, shows, you know, of course the characters, you got the select player up there you know guy cody and hagar right there right 52 toys logo and then here is the front right here so you can see all three of them right here getting a little closer but you know here's how the packaging is for guy right you got like a little open window and then here's cody and then here's a uh, mike hagar right here right and then you know the top it just pretty much shows the figures right so there's the top here's guy right there uh, the bottom not much really right there but the back pretty much shows the figure and then you know the accessory that they you know that they come with and I kind of like the arcade machine sort of style here okay so here's the figures out of the packaging we'll start off with Cody right here so here's a closer look at Cody and you can see, I mean, yeah, you know, it's very plain, right? Just got the white tee and then the blue jeans right here. You can see, like, the belt right here that's painted. Overall, not too bad. You got the peg hole here on the foot. Here's the, the back of the figure right here. And then here is Guy right here. Uh, the head sculpt for Guy doesn't seem too bad. The only thing that's really throwing me off here is his hair is probably just a little too light. But another thing is that, and I said this when I, uh, talked about these figures is that guy is a, a bit more taller than Cody because I think Cody is supposed to be taller um, but yeah you can see like guys just a little bit more taller than uh, Cody right here but um everything else doesn't seem too bad it seems like they both got a uh, one peg hole at the bottom of their foot and then here's like you know the back of the figure right here and then here is Mike Hagar. In my opinion, I think Mike is probably the best looking one aesthetically. Uh, you got like the strap here that's sculpted around the figure. You know, here's like the, the pants right here, right? And the head sculpt's pretty good too. I just think his head's probably just a little too, uh, a little too small. But uh, yeah, Hagar looks pretty good though. I, I actually like the Hagar figure a lot more. Now for your accessories, they all come with interchangeable head sculpts. These are pretty much the faces you see when you're, you know, about to continue the game or not. When they're like kind of like tied up to the chair, really. Uh, they come with weapon wield in hands. So uh, Cody comes with two knives. Guy comes with a katana. And then uh, Hagar comes with like a pipe. Now Guy is the only one that comes with another set of interchangeable hands. They're like, you know, style posing hands, you know, for more posing. And then uh, Cody and Guy only comes with dynamite. Uh, Hagar doesn't come with one so yeah it's really just uh, Cody and Guy and yeah that's pretty much all of the accessories right there those are the accessories you're getting here uh, with these figures now for the articulation starting with the head the head is on a double ball peg but you don't really get a whole lot of movement really you can look up mm, not as much honestly I thought it was actually going to be able to look a little bit more but not a whole lot, you know, you're just going to get your standard uh, rotation right there, right? Uh, you know, arms move back and forth. You get a hinge to the shoulder. It only goes high about there. We have a upper bicep swivel. And then we have uh, single jointed uh, elbows right there. And you can rotate uh, the elbows as well. Uh, the wrists do rotate as well. Now with the torso, so the upper torso right here. Not a whole lot of movement really. So I would probably use the bottom one and that still doesn't really give him. There's a little bit of movement but not a whole lot. Um, rotation a little bit right there. It looks like it wants to tend to pop off. Yeah not really much you can do with the torso here on uh, Cody right here. And then for the hips you can kick high about there. It's pretty decent. Kicking back only just about there you have your upper thigh cut the knees you get that much range right there and then the ankles it seems like they're just on a small ball peg so you're just going to get like a rotation 
out of that and that's pretty much that or actually I think you can okay so you can uh, rotate the knees as well but yeah that's the articulation right there I almost forgot but they can also kick out to the side and you get that much range right there all right now for guy so head articulation double ball peg as well guy seems to move a lot better though with Cody because you can actually have guy look up and down a little bit and you can tilt the head so yeah better uh, movement here with the head um, in the arms move back and forth hinge to the shoulder seems to go higher than Cody as well uh, upper bicep swivel single jointed in the elbow still uh, surprisingly you don't really get that much range actually which is pretty disappointing so you get that much range wrist uh, rotate for the torso mmm they move a little bit better than Cody but not a whole lot you know using both not really a whole lot you know just your rotation and then the hips out to the side that much kicking forward you get that much range right there kicking back he seems to kick a lot better than Cody of course your upper thigh cut uh, double jointed in the knees that much range right there and then uh, again you can rotate you know this part right here uh, angles are just on a ball peg and in your standard rotation there so that's the articulation for guy and now for Hagar let's see how Hagar is I got to keep putting the camera back because he's uh, a lot taller here uh, the head's the same way but he don't really get a lot of movement compared uh, to guy so not a lot of movement just your standard rotation uh, arms move back and forth hinge to the shoulder get that much range right there we got an upper bicep swivel single jointed in the elbows you get that much range rotation to the wrist and then the torso the upper joint this one actually moves a lot better because I'm able to get him to crunch back that much and then forward forward about there so his torso is a lot better compared to them and you can rotate it better um, yeah his is actually pretty good and I like how even when you move the upper joint the strap still continues uh, 40 hips he can kick forward pretty high up actually which is pretty good I think it's probably close to guy and then kicking back that much right there out to the side you get that much range upper thigh cut is there double joint in the knees you can rotate that and then ankles are pretty much the same way you're just gonna get a rotation now for a comparison here we have the Hasbro uh, Marvel vs Capcom infinite Ryu figure uh, that's the figure that came like a two-pack with the Black Widow but uh, if you still like own those figures you know this Ryu figure can still uh, scale with your final fight figures uh, as remember these are in the uh, 118 scale so you know they're definitely not going to be in scale with any other uh, six inch figures that you were uh, planning on doing but if I was to just put these two back here and just kind of put Hagar here right put Ryu right here um, you know I can also just bring in the uh, Black Widow figure that came in that two pack uh, so you know you got like your Marvel vs Capcom uh, infinite little display right there if you want to do something like that and then I'll put her here hopefully she doesn't fall over because she has a hard time standing uh, here's the X figure as well and that figure came in a two pack with like Iron Man so these can uh, you know fit in well right there if you want to see uh, the downside though with these figures is uh, you know again uh, they won't be in par with your six inch uh, figures if you're curious about that so this is like the Jada Toys Chun-Li figure now here's one more comparison I have all of the Captain Commando figures right here and you know these are also uh, in that scale and they all look pretty good next to each other uh, I actually reviewed uh, Captain Commando I didn't review the other three because I got them a little bit later but I'm so glad I did uh, get them because I honestly probably would have been pretty upset if I would have missed out on these because these are actually a really good figures like they're really really good I think I still like these a lot more than the final fight figures you know overall uh, this is a pretty nice set having these and I'm really looking forward to um, 
the Street Fighter 6 figures that 52 Toys is doing that they revealed uh, pretty recently actually. So I'm looking forward to those uh, to see how they're going to be. Actually, here's one last comparison. So I have them next to the Warriors of Fate figures. This is another Capcom series uh, that 52 Toys did. And uh, almost forgot about these because these actually just came out as well. But yeah, they're both also um, in scale with the Final Fight figures. Okay, so final thoughts on the 52 Toys Final Fight action figures. These are decent for what they are, but I wouldn't say they're worth the $34 price point. At least depending on where you're getting these from. I got these at Big Bad Toy Store, and I know they usually like double the price on the products. However, in my opinion, the Captain Commando figures are still the better ones. Uh, they just look a lot better, and the articulation is really smooth. Uh, while for the Final Fight figures, they can still pose fine enough, just not enough for what you're paying for. I will say they do come with more accessories this time, which is nice. I like that they included interchangeable heads and hands. They're not too bad by all means. I think it's just the price point and the scale is what's hurting these the most. But let me know what are your thoughts on these in the comments down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Until then, take care my friends.